if you caught my video with the dogs and cats scarves behind the scene photo sessions up here, you've probably been anxiously awaiting this video. Today we are going to step by step go through my process of melding those two images together. I'm going to screen record my screen from Lightroom to Photoshop and show you at least one option of how to put these two images together. Like that. Monique Renee here, photographer at Silverpaw Studio, and I give you tips and tricks for photographing adoptable and rescue pets, tips for photographing your own pets, and pro photographer insights. If that all sounds awesome, I invite you to paw that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. All right, so let's get into today's video, right? Let's dive into Lightroom and I'm going to show you my thought process for editing the cat picture and the dog picture together into one for the warmer together combined photos. All right, so you can see right now I am in Lightroom and these are my final edited images of the dogs and the cats that I submitted and there's a couple here that I especially like that I want to show you. So here's one you remember on the previous video with Billy and here he is standing super cute in here and you can see how I filled in the side there. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And so let's actually go over to Photoshop now and I'll show you how to fill it in because I know Billy is the one that I'm going to choose from all of these. I am going to take this over to Photoshop, right click, edit in uh, Photoshop. All right, so this should be pretty simple one to do because it's just a plain gray backdrop. So I wanna make sure I've got my lasso tool on. I've got a little bit of a feather here you can see. I'm just gonna super rough edit, doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, and then right click and fill. And I've got content to wear here and say, okay. And this should fill in really nicely, actually. Let's take a look. All right. And then we're going to control D to unselect that area. Looks pretty good. I'm going to Z to zoom in on these little treats here and S for the clone stamp right there. Just press S and then you press alt in the place that you want to use to stamp over it. Alt, I'm going to grab that and stamp over that. Control O, ta-da. There we go. There's one more thing I wanna do with this image though. I wanna stretch it a little bit farther on the left side to give a little bit more room for Kitty because I don't know exactly how well Kitty's gonna fit in here. So all we're gonna do is go to the crop tool here and pull this out a little bit farther. Let's see, doo -doo -doo -doo. that should be plenty. And say, okay, I'm gonna control O so I can see the whole screen. Actually, let's back up even a little more. There we go. Now we're gonna take the uh, marquee, let me see, <laughs> rectangular marquee tool, okay? And we're gonna grab the original photo and then we're going to go to edit content aware scale. Yeah, we don't get a chance to use this tool very often, but this is the perfect photo for it because of the really simple gray backdrop with no detail in it. So content aware scale, and now you'll have these little boxes that you can grab. So I'm gonna grab this one and pull, 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 pull till I get it here. You can see the size of the dog changes a little, but he's not distorted. And then say check mark for okay. There we go. And we can move them around in that frame however we want. That's pretty awesome, right? Yeah. There we go. All right, uh, so you can see we're back here in Lightroom. Here's the image that I just saved. And all you have to do to do that is save. Don't do save as, it'll just save it right back over into Lightroom where I pulled it from. So there's Billy, I'm G for grid again. And I've had a look through here and I would like to use one of these pictures down here. I think this is the one I'd like, yeah. So I like that one. I think he'll sit next to Billy really well. And I've started that with three stars. So let's just see those. Two. We're gonna get rid of that one. And so we're just gonna press each of these and say N. We wanna see them together. Now what I've done here is try to match the 
brightness and color in both of these backgrounds. You can tell on Billy it's a little bit darker than it is on Kitty right here. Um, so you can see around Kitty it'll be a little bit lighter if we set them right here. So I just want to make sure um, let's go to develop real quick. I just want to up those shadows maybe a little bit on the Billy picture. I don't see it making a ton of difference, but there we go. I just want to make sure that he's not overdone. All right, so now what I want to do is make sure, so I still have Billy the dog over in Photoshop, so we're going to add Kitty. Edit, right click, edit in Adobe Photoshop. Let's take Kitty over to Photoshop and we're going to go Control A to grab all of it and copy Control C. Go over to Puppy over here and Control V. All right, there's our Kitty. All right. Okay, let's move you around a little bit. Okay. Now, if you can't really tell where you're placing them, just pull down the opacity of that layer. So we're gonna work on layers, everybody, but it's super simple. So you can see right here, we got Billy here and Kitty here. Now, I wanna get it about the right size. You can kind of see how I want the bed to go behind his leg right there. So let's maybe make him a little bit smaller. What do y'all think? Is that about the right scale? Do you think that kitten's about that big to the puppy? That seems about right. Let's try it. So we're going to make that opacity go back up. Okay. Now I'm going to put a mask on there. Now don't freak out. Masks aren't that tough. We're just going to put this mask. This is a little button for mask. The square with a hole in the middle. Okay. And you can see, boop, there's a mask. Now it's in white. So that means we're showing everything here, right? Um, so what I want to do is make sure I'm clicked so you can click in different places. Make sure you click on the mask. B for brush. And we have the brush set to white, so it's not going to change anything. Because if we paint white with white, it's not going to make a difference, right? So we're going to press X to switch to black, or we can click on the swatch here. I want to make that brush a little bit bigger, so close bracket will make that bigger. Now all I have to do is paint. Meow. Now I am not erasing any of this image. I'm just hiding that part of the image. So if I show you that, if I pressed X again and made it white brush, we're just going to paint it right back in. Easy, right? So let's put the puppy back in there because we kind of want to see what we're doing. Make sure we're still clicked on that. X back over to black brush. I'm going to do a super fast on this because I'm going to come back to it. I kind of want to see close bracket, make that a little bit smaller, where his little foot is. I'm going to put his scarf in front of the bed. Yeah. So you can see it already looks pretty cool. Oh, there's some detail work that needs to be done, of course. Uh, so let's put that brush back here. And what are we on? We're on black. OK, so let's paint so we can see the original background again that the dog was on. You can see how that background's a little bit darker here. All right. Hello, kitty. <laughs> All right, we're going to press X because we want some of this bed to come back because I was sloppy when I painted it, wasn't I? Okay, oop, oop, I want that to go away. So it's X. We want to bring his scarf back in, don't we? Yeah. Let's make sure his scarf shows through. So the little bed is sitting behind him. Make the brush smaller. So you can see how you can really get in here and do a lot of fine tuning, which you should. Oops, wrong way there. Undo that. So let's see what we've got on Kitty here. So you can kind of see what we've got. I think we need to show a little bit more like, oops, um, let's make that a different color brush there. So I want to make sure the whole edges of the blanket shows up or the scarf, right? Let the scarf show up. There we go. The edge of the bed looks crisp. Yeah. So you can get in here and tweak this quite a bit. And you notice I took out a lot of down here because it was the wrong color. And I didn't want to spend a ton of time um, color correcting that. So it looks fine just like that. And let's see. I'm going to X and make that a different color. So from here, I think I just want to do a little bit of detail work. So I have it on black still, but I'm going to lower the opacity of that brush to about, let's try 37 just randomly. And so we're just going to come in on the edges, making sure to leave his little 
whiskers in there. So we're blending not quite 100% here. We want to try to match those grays together. So he looks tons better now, right? This little kitten's looking good. Yeah. I think that looks pretty darn good. What do you think? Let's control O. We can zoom out and take a look at that. Let's look at kitty in the bed. You can kind of see what's going on there. And from here, I would add some more shadow maybe, right? Uh, we could, I didn't need this much space, it turns out, uh, but I could leave it if I wanted. And you have lots and lots of room for text right here. So there you go, that looks pretty darn good, right? All right, for this last scene, Bailey decided to join me. She had a little dental cleaning yesterday and had some teeth removed. So she's, she's feeling kind of sleepy and sore. She's gotten her pain medication and her soft food, but um, she wants to sit on my lap for this last part. All right, now we're looking at the two of them together and I think I just wanna add one more touch. Let's add some text and I wanna show you how to grab some color for that. Uh, I do wanna crop it in a little bit after all, I just kind of feel like it. Uh, so let's do a little bit here and a little bit here. All right, uh, so we've got it all cropped in. Why don't we merge these layers? Ah, scary, right? Nah, it's not scary. We'll click them both and merge layers. All right, now we're gonna add some text, but this picture has ended up being super huge. Uh, so the text is gonna be kind of hard to see. Text, we're gonna see, we're gonna make this like a thousand point. Depending on the resolution of your camera, yours will vary. Okay, warmer together. All right, and then I just wanna make that bigger. Here, I'll so that was our theme, right? But now I wanna show you how to pull color from the image to use for the text, okay? So we're just gonna to go to the eyedropper, boop, right there, which color? Let's do this dark red, and you can see it added to the swatch. Now if I go back to text or press T, highlight everything, click on that swatch, it pulls that up, say okay, and ta-da! Yeah, now you've perfectly matched it to this image. I can do other things on here, add a line around this, a shadow, something like that. I would probably actually add text and any other graphics in Canva or another program, but you can see you could pretty much have it done right here. So I think that worked out pretty cute. We have a kitty from the cat rescue and a dog from the dog rescue, and we've merged them together, just like the rescues are merging. Aw, right? All right, so there you go. That is my quick method for merging those two images together. If you liked today's video, remember to give it a thumbs up and share it with someone else you think might enjoy it. And as always, I wish you many woofs, purrs, and T-R-E-A-T-S's. Go better, babe. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel better, Bay? Yeah? Oh, everybody's so glad. Yay, Bailey. <laughs>